everyone. Welcome to Five Minutes with the Church Lady. Happy Mother's Day. It's a beautiful day. Actually, I'm filming this on Saturday, so it's a little windy, so I'm going to talk nice and loud for you guys. Uh, but today, uh, Mother's Day, we honor our mothers. And um, a couple of things I want to mention. So, cherish your mothers and grandmothers today. Hug and kiss them. Honor them. Thank them. For those mothers who have gone to heaven, remember them, talk about them. I found a very pretty um, verse from Proverbs, Proverbs 31. Her children arise and call her blessed, her husband also, and he praises her. Many women do noble things, but you surpass them all. So I hope so in some way today you're going to celebrate your mom your grandma your godmother all of those special moms in your life and a couple of things that you can do at home uh, today especially for mother's day um since we're all in quarantine and uh together maybe you could name three things about your mother that you try to model in your own life what is your fondest or funniest memory about your mother if you could plan the ideal Mother's Day celebration, what would you choose to do and why? I'm sure moms would want a different Mother's Day than they're probably gonna have today, but at least we're together. And what's the best advice a mother ever gave you? So I wanted to show you pictures of my family. This is a picture of, this is my mom and this is my husband's mom. Both of them unfortunately are not with us anymore. Um, as are, this is my grandma Rose, and this is my husband's grandma Helen. Uh, but we have pictures and we have a lot, a lot of memories of these beautiful women in our lives. So even if your uh, moms or grandmas aren't with you, uh, it's a very important day, a special day to remember them and think about them. Um, and I am also a mom, which is the most wonderful job in the whole world. And this is a little uh, present that my daughter made me. She got this off of Pinterest. It's really beautiful, it lights up. And as you'll see, there's pictures of my kids on here. My, my oldest, Christopher, and uh, my daughter, Isabel, who's filming this. And these are the most recent pictures of them. It's what they look like now. And uh, I love them to death. And I'm lucky to have my daughter here on Mother's Day. Uh, my son is in Chicago. Hi, Christopher. I miss you. Um, but the other thing we do uh, at the month of, in the month of May, like I mentioned last week, is we also honor the mother of our Lord, Mary. So her maternal care for Jesus still embraces all those who are joined to him as members of his body by that great new birth of baptism. Mary was the first person to consecrate herself to Jesus Christ the first to offer her whole heart to do his will, to serve his beautiful plan of redemption. We ask God to give us that same faith, that same courage. We look to her as a model, as children look to their own mothers. So I'm um, sitting here, a lot of you have statues of Mary maybe uh, in your yard, in your front yard, this one's in our backyard. So we should always look to Mary as a role model the first person who said yes to God, and that's something to aspire to. Um, so I'd like you, all of you at home, my CCD children, to send me photos. Send me photos of yourself with your mom, maybe with um, a drawing that you, that you draw today of Mother's Day or of your mom, or pictures of flowers maybe that you drew and any images of the Blessed Mother. So attached to this video clip on Remind, you're gonna see um, Miss Faith, our first grade teacher, was nice enough to send us this little uh, uh, clip art, and uh, I've got this one too. So I'm gonna send you these, and if your child wants to color it and draw a crown of flowers on Mary, and then take a picture of your child with, with their drawing and send it to me or a picture of them with you, moms, grandmoms, 
godmothers, anybody like that. I'd love to have pictures of everybody to put up on Facebook and we'll do a little montage of them for everybody. So send me those pictures. You can send them uh, via Facebook, email, or remind, okay? And I'm gonna close out with a poem for mothers. So children, if you wanna share this with your moms, that's great. My mother kept a garden, a garden of the heart. She planted all the good things that gave my life its start. She turned me to the sunshine and encouraged me to dream, fostering and nurturing the seeds of self-esteem. And when the winds and rain came, she protected me enough, but not too much because she knew I'd need to stand up tough. Her constant good example always taught me right from wrong, markers for my pathway that will last a lifetime long. I am my mother's garden, I am her legacy, and I hope today she feels the love reflected back from me. Happy Mother's Day. Stay safe until we meet again.